So I am your narrator. My name is Janie, and I am here to introduce you again to Eileen. If you've been anywhere around Van Windens, you probably recognize Eileen. She is one of the managers here, and she, just like all the other staff here, know everything about all plants. And today, we're talking about peonies. This is so exciting. It really is. Yep. So it's March. The peonies have arrived. We get them about once a year in the springtime. As you can see right now, they are just starting to push new growth. Mm -hmm. No flowers yet, but the flowers will be here shortly. So this is what we call an herbaceous peony. We okay. have three main types here, herbaceous, tree, and an ito, which are a combination hybrid of the first two. Okay. Um, and Van Windens has all three types. We have all three types, yeah. So what's the benefit of each type? Like say, let's all start right. with the herbaceous ones. The, the, these over here. Yeah, so herbaceous just have the classic peony shape that a lot of people know and love. Okay. Like, check out that flower. Oh my goodness. How fun is that? That's beautiful. And these are tricky to grow in Napa, but it is possible and totally worth it because these flowers just, you know, are what Why people Why are they love. tricky to grow here in Napa? We don't actually get cold enough to make them happy. Okay, so yeah. these plants need a cold period? Yeah, these plants grow fabulously in the Midwest where it snows many months of the year. Got it. So you can mimic that snow by dumping ice on them if you really love your peonies. Okay, if you um, are an extra gardener. If you're an extra gardener <laughs> who owns an ice maker, you yes. are golden. Yes, say you don't want to be an extra gardener and you kind of want to just plant them, then I would choose another type of peony. If you wanted to be um, safe with your bet, then yes, the safest bet in Napa is a tree peony. They okay. don't need the winter chill to put on the flower buds. Do you have one of those we can see? Those are in the back. So this here is a tree peony. Oh, it looks like a tree. Yep, it's actually gonna grow like a tree. The rest of the peonies we have die to the ground in the winter, uh -huh. whereas this one grows a little tree structure. Okay. And will just die back to okay. its branches. So you don't really back. wanna cut that back. You definitely do not wanna cut okay. this back. <laughs> Got it, good advice. <laughs> so this tree peony, it's, um, are the flowers, do they look the same as the herba herbaceous one? They're not gonna be as full um, and have as many petals as the herbaceous ones but for what they lack in fullness, they make up in diameter. Oh. These are gonna be the biggest flowers. Oh, well now you're talking my language, mm -hmm. nice. And then you said there was a third kind, Edo? So Edo, yeah. Edo looks a lot like a herbaceous peony, especially this time of year, but it's gonna need much less winter chill to put oh. on the flower buds. Okay, nice. So this is, if you want kind of that more classic peony shape, um, and you want a safer bet in Napa, Edo is really the way to go. Okay. All right. And then I also know that you can get peonies in little bags, like little bare root ones. Yeah. Is that yeah. right? So we sell peonies in three sizes here. We have our five gallon cans. Okay. That's a big investment, but you're going to get about 10 flowers your first year. Okay. Oh, 10 okay. flowers. I'll take that. We have our two gallons. Okay. Smaller investment, about half the investment, I want to say. Um, and you're going to get three to five flowers in your first year. Okay. We also have, we call them bare root peonies. This is a package of three. Okay. You can kind of see in this bag what one of them looks like here. So this will give you flowers probably in year five, maybe even after that. Okay. So if I purchase this one, which is cheaper, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait years I'm gonna have to, to get wait. flowers. So I'm gonna have to be very patient. And you're also gonna have to be a good gardener because these can't rot out. They don't like our natural clay soils here in Napa. Oh. So you gotta make sure they have good drainage. I, I don't wanna discourage people because this is a good, if, if you don't have a huge budget, this is a good way to get started with peonies. Yeah, it just takes more work. Takes more work, takes more time and probably more skill. Okay, so let's say, Let's say we don't want to put that work in <laughs> and we go for one of these. You said this was an investment. Why is it like, why is it such an investment? Peonies grow really slowly. Okay. Yeah. The tree peony I held up earlier, yeah. that took us more than two years at our ranch to grow those on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Two year project on those. So what about these big five gallon ones? How long do you think these were growing? Oh, I can't even say, to be honest, I can't give you a very, it would just be a total guess, but I would guess a couple years close to 10 years 10 years maybe more than that oh yeah my God. i did yeah. not expect but I mean, you like, to say that look Eileen. how big and you see how like there's growth points yeah. pushing out from end to end of this can and Everywhere. if you look closely this can is actually a little bit shaped like an oval uh -huh. because the roots are pushing on it 
this is a big chunky root and that's exactly what you want for lots of flowers that's what you want to pay for is you want to pay for roots so if i was to come into van winden's and i was to look for one would i want one that had the pot that was oval i think that'd be a safe bet yeah okay all right you might kind of tell if it has a lot of growth points you might kind of tell if the pot is misshapen because that means roots are pushing on it okay um, those would be some good cues to look for. Okay, good to know. So when I go to Trader Joe's, sometimes I will see these big, gorgeous cut flower peonies, yeah. and they're so beautiful. But from what you're saying, that would be an herbaceous peony. Is that correct? Almost definitely an herbaceous peony. Okay, and so those aren't as easy to grow in Napa, but yeah. can't we can. We can, yes. Okay. You would want to plant them in morning sun, afternoon shade, Oh, maybe even full shade. Full shade. And that gets a little bit confusing for people because all of these plants come from a grower uh -huh. that's up in Oregon. And in Oregon, they do take full sun. Oh, look at that. So it says full sun on that tag. Right. And if you do that in Napa, you're going to have probably a very crispy peony. You're going to fry them. Yeah, because we, we have hot sun here. We have very hot Super summers. Hot sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm buying in, if I'm buying at Van Winden's and I'm going to plant, I'm going to plant morning sun, partial sun. You could do morning sun. You could do full shade. Okay. Um, you might be able to get away with shade up until the very, very end of the day, okay. but I wouldn't recommend that unless you have to do that. Okay. That's so interesting because it's completely different than what you read on the it's, internet. It's so different. This just goes to show why it's so important to have a garden center with people who know, mm -hmm. know your area and mm -hmm. know your locale and know your region, because I would have never known that I would have followed the tag but thanks to Eileen, now I know yep, where to plant true. my peony. Yeah. Okay, and then you said planting on the mound. Yes, definitely plant them on a mound to help with drainage. In Napa, we have that Napa clay. Yep. Peonies don't love the clay. They okay. want nice, loose draining soil. So a mound is a good way to accomplish that. A mound does that. What about like amending the soil? Would that work? Yes, you could amend the soil with lots of compost. Okay. You don't want to have no clay because at some point the peony roots are going to touch down to that clay. Yeah. Um, so you want to do like a 50-50 mix of a nice rich compost, mix it in with your native clay, and that would be a good option. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but then mulch is pretty important because you don't want the roots to get too hot. All right. So if you notice on all of these, they have a bit of mulch on them. Yes. What can happen is if the mulch buries the little eyes too much, it can rot them out. Oh my. Depending on the weather that we're getting or depend on depending on the sun that they're getting. Okay. So when you do mulch, you would do the mulch all around, but not right on not the top of the crown. On top of it. Okay. Yeah. Good tip. But you do want to do mulch just to keep the soil cool. Well, it's going to improve your soil, bring in all the good bugs. It's going to retain moisture, usually in a good way on a mound. Okay. And it's going to keep the roots cooler. And peonies like to be a little bit cooler than our summers normally are. Okay. I've always heard it's mulch, 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 but with peonies, mulch around. <laughs> well, with most things, yeah. Most things don't like, I call it a turtleneck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they want to have just like their shoulders showing. Perfect. Now, I see fertilizer behind you. Do peonies need lots? Peonies are prima donnas. They got a special fertilizing really? thing. Yeah. <laughs> of course they are. Yeah. Of course they're prima donnas. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? Okay, we got three things that peonies need throughout the year. As the first leaves unfurl, you want to hit it with something like Ultra Bloom or a Super Bloom, some sort of bloom fertilizer. You're going to do that three times throughout the growing season. So okay. middle of the season and then as it starts to fade and die back to the ground in the winter. Okay. And then at the very end of the season, you're going to do a 50-50 mix of bone meal and super phosphate. Okay. In combination with your third application. You can do that at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Now, why the bone meal and phosphate? All right. See this middle number? Mm -hmm. On both of these, you've yeah. got your NPK, your three numbers here, and these are your macronutrients. Okay. The middle number is phosphorus. Okay. Phosphorus for plants means root growth and flowers. And what more do you want with peonies than root Roots growth and flowers? And flowers, <laughs> absolutely. So you're basically just hitting it hard mm -hmm. with the fertilizer. With Beef the, up those with, roots. Beef up yeah, those roots. Yeah, yeah. So that's perfect. So they're going to be happy with a little bit extra TLC. Mm -hmm. One from how you plant it, and then two from adding the stuff on. Exactly. So tell me, are these organic? Do I have to worry about organic versus synthetic fertilizers? So um, these are both organic. This is synthetic. As you probably know, synthetics work faster. Organics take longer, but they improve your soil. This is a fantastic combination for peonies. 
Um, if you wanted to go full organic, you could um, get a different option for this because this one's not organic, but this combination has proven to have great results in Napa. Okay, so the synthetic will give it real quick a, a quick It'll work hit, faster, yeah. Right? And then the organic will kind of slow it down a little bit. And, mm -hmm. and well, like more a, sustained feeding. Okay, good. Well, I love this combination. I'm going to do that for sure. Now, I have one last question. Watering. Should I hook my peony up to drip or should I water it pretty regularly? Yeah. Um, they. I want to say like an even moisture, but too much water really can rot them out. Okay. So you're going to have to monitor it, especially that first year while you get to know the drainage of your mound or your garden area because nothing's sadder than a rotted out peony. Yeah. Especially when you've invested so much money in mm -hmm. it. So you guys have peonies here every March, is that right? Every spring. Every spring. Yes. Okay. If you remember last year, it rained until like June. Yes. <laughs> we had so much rain. And the year yeah. before that, we had no rain. Yes. And so spring started in like January the year before right. and spring started in like April yeah. or May last year. <laughs> so how would I, how would I find out when you guys got your peonies in? Cause I want, I want the best of the best one here. <laughs> I'm gonna go through each one and pick out the one that has the most oblong uh, oblong can. So how do I find out when you guys get your peonies in? One of the best ways is get on our special request list because we'll call you or text you as soon as we get stuff in. Oh, nice. Give us a call or visit us and say, I want a phone call as soon as the peonies arrive. Perfect. I also make sure it gets in our newsletter, okay. on our social media, okay. and sometimes we even put it on our signboard on the highway. <laughs> oh, nice. So good. So when you drive by on the highway, kind of take a peek. So yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, Eileen, thank you so much. I appreciate the time. All of you come out here, get your hands on one of these peonies. You are not going to regret it. <laughs>